All right, here's a quick tutorial on the Castle Crush Wrong Warp, which saves about a minute. Uh, so first thing you want to do is just dodge this rat. I think you want to uh, let the uh, Crusher kill him just because of uh, lag reduction. All right, so first thing that matters here is the IDs that you get. Uh, so you want this uh, Hedgehog guy to stay alive at first, and then when you get the DK barrel, you want to get the invis against the wall uh, pretty low down. Like how low you are really matters. So what I do to get there in time is I do a team throw right around here. Give me plenty of time to get the barrel and be in position. My visual cue is this little metal thing right here. Uh, when the crusher is about halfway up there, is a good time to go get your invis. Which, uh, if you don't know, you just uh, hold down and left on your D-pad, release and repress Y when you're flush against the wall. It might have been a little bit early, but... I uh, also want to just quickly point out that team throwing is the slow way to do this. You actually would be about a half second faster if you can do it like that. But to do that, you have to be really quick in uh, your invis getting. Alright, so... Let me see if, uh, let me just get the right IDs for sure, because I don't know if that was quite fast enough. Alright, so now for the real meat of the thing, put a save state right here. Alright, so what you're going to do, around right here, you can use Diddy's hat against the metal part of this torch if you want, or just find your own visual cue. There's lots of options here, but approximately here. You're going to be holding up and left on your D-pad and you're going to do a full jump and throw at the peak of your jump and you're going to continue to hold up and left until you take damage from the guy. And uh, after you throw, by the way, you do want to repress Y to get to him quickly. So watch for the visual cue, throw, keep holding up and left until you hit him. Now what you're going to do is as soon as you take damage, you're going to go completely neutral on the D-pad, take your fingers off all the buttons on the controller, and what you're going to need to do is let him get stacked on top of you, and when he's on top of you, you kind of have to wait uncomfortably long before jumping, because if you jump too early, he's going to not see you. For whatever reason, he doesn't see you when you jump, so you need to just kind of stand here until, like, that was a little bit too late, but stand until like a little bit after he's on top of you then when you jump up to a quick little hover in the air not a long one like you do want to get to the barrel pretty soon but you just delay a little tiny bit by hovering and then hold right as you're coming out of this barrel there you go have fun with that <laughs>